Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 3 to power 3x minus 3 to power x. This is equal to 24. What is the value of x? Solution from here, we have 3 to power 3x, subtract 3 to power x, this is equal to 24. Now, from this, this part here, 3 to power 3x can be expressed as 3 to power x raised to power 3, subtract 3 to power x, this is equal to 24. Now, we have 3 to power x here and 3 to power x, so we can just say let 3 to power x be equal to, to u. Substituting this u here, we have u to power 3, subtract u, this is equal to 24. Now, let's take 24 on the left hand side, so that we have u to power 3, subtract u, subtract 24, this is equal to 0. Now, something we need to note here, x is a member of real numbers and that x is greater than 0. Now, let's proceed from here. Now, we have u to power 3 minus u minus 24. We can express 24 as 8 times 3. So this implies that negative u, this is the same thing as minus 9u plus 8u. Let's substitute this. So you have u to power 3, subtract 9u plus 8u, then minus 24, which is 8 times 3, this is equal to 0. Now, from this particular part here, u is common, we can factor out u, so you have u into the parentheses, u squared minus 9, then plus 8 here is common, we can factor out 8 so that we have u minus 3. This is equal to 0. Now, u squared minus 9, u squared minus 9, this is actually in the form of a squared minus b squared, which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. So in this case, we can express this as u squared minus 9, which is 3 squared. Applying this identity, then we'll have u plus 3. And then here we have u minus 3. Substituting this, we have u multiplied by u plus 3, multiplied by u minus 3, then plus 8, u minus 3, this is equal to 0. Now, you can see here, u minus 3 is common here, so we can factor out u minus 3 into the parentheses. We have u multiplied by u plus 3, then plus, here we have 8, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is u minus 3. This is equal to 0. The second part here, we have u times u. This is u squared. Then plus 3 times u. This is 3u. Then plus 8. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that u is equal to 3 u is equal to 3. The second part here, this is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to 8. Okay, now to solve for, to solve for the values of u1 and u2, u1 and u2, 
we apply the quadratic formula. But before that, let's check the nature of this quadratic equation by assessing the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4 times a times c. Now, by assessing the, the nature of the root of this quadratic equation, we have the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4 times a times c. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c, so that here we have 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8. So that we have here 3 squared, this is 9, minus 8 times 4, this is 32. And therefore here we have 9 minus 32, this is minus 23, and this is less than 0. So this implies that in this part, there is no real solution. We cannot have a real solution for this quadratic equation. In other words, we have two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions to this problem. So this part, given that this, is, this will not give us a real solution, this part is rejected. So this part is rejected. Given that u is equal to 3, and if you recall here, if you recall, we are saying that let 3 to power x be equal to u. So substituting this, we have 3 to power x, this is equal to u, which is equal to 3. Remember, 3 is raised to power 1. And given that the bases are common here, that is a to power n is equal to a to power m. Since the bases are common here, then the exponent n is equal to m. Now this implies that the value of x here is equal to 1. Now, let's check, let's verify this value of x satisfies the equation. Let's verify. Now, if you recall here, we have that 3 to the power 3x subtract 3 to the power x. This should give us a value of 24. So substituting the value of x, we'll have 3 to the power 3 times 1 minus 3 to the power 1. This is equal to 24. So 3 to the power 3 here, this is 27. Subtract 3, this is equal to 24. So this implies that 27 minus 3, this is 24, which is equal to 24. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this verifies that x, one, x which is 1, satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. Like and subscribe.